we're just at Karnak Temple entrance and here is the, the row of sphinxes. So we've just come through into the first court, the Grand Court. So this uh, stone is white calcite crystal. down into the hyperstyle hall now. So there are actually 134 columns in this section. I'll just walk you through a little bit. So I think you can see that these um, columns, they're made of many pieces, which is quite manageable by a, a work team. But, um, and, and also the stone, it's sandstone and uh, limestone, which is quite easy to carve. But when we go through to the obelisk, that's actually one piece of stone made of granite. That's uh, uh, much more difficult to work with. So even though these obelisks are made of granite, the east side of them, for about uh, the first, the lower 50 foot, has been burnt off. Nobody really knows how that's happened. Some scientists say it was a, a solar plasma blast. So, just past the, the first obelisk and we're at the second one now and this is the largest standing obelisk in the world weighing three to four hundred tons and the base has been perfectly placed which is actually almost impossible to do. You can see how uh, the sides are perfectly straight and that's granite, it's one of the hardest stones there is. So I've just come through to a section here with a, a sunken pillar base. You can see here's the, the newer ones. So because it's sunken, it's much older. It's made of white calcite, which was used around the base of the pyramids and much older structures. So it seems the, the calcite and these obelisks of granite are much older from a more advanced society. So just here we've got uh, an ancient tubular drill hole. Tubular drills were invented in 1870 and uh, Karnak Temple has been highly protected so this is not modern 
This is an ancient tubular drill hole. Completely smooth inside. Completely. So just on this side you can see seams in these uh, granite rocks. They're very similar to the work that was done on the Giza Plateau by the pyramids in the Valley Temple. Um, some of them you, you couldn't even put a, a card, a thin card in there. So here's a, another example of granite being burnt off the lower 40 or 50 foot. However that happened, it was extremely high temperatures. So I'm just entering the oldest part of the Karnak complex now, and it is the central part as well. Um, and again you can see there's granite, these blocks are made of, uh, it's sloughed off as though there's been some really high heat in here that's damaged it. found another piece of the white calcite crystal, it's quite amazing. the second um, <clears throat> Hatshepsut obelisk now and there's a, a fence around it. I did want to go in because apparently if you thump it, it resonates. Um, oh, I'm going to chance it and just go in and they'll probably shout at me. Oh yeah, I can hear it. Can you hear that? So this um, is made of quartz diorite, which is actually harder than granite, very, very hard stone. And they actually used quartz diorite balls to um, shape granite, apparently. So the question is, how did they actually cut this stone and shape it? It definitely wasn't with copper tools. So this statue is made of quartzite. The nearest quartzite is in Cairo, 313 miles away and um, very, very hard stone again. Uh, I just want to show you the precision of the toes here. That is impossible to do with copper and bronze tools. And the guards just come to tell me to, to get out because they're closing. 
So I've just managed to sneak through to another completely different area. Shouldn't be here now because I think they're closed. But um, this white calcite chapel, it was originally one piece, completely one piece. Um, and they're not really sure what it was used for, but they think it might have been a sound chamber. I think it has been uh, reconstructed and in a couple of pieces now, but you can see the detail there. We've been caught and shukran, shukran, bye. 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 We were the last people in and we've just been escorted out. 